Welcome to a demonstration of the Charles Law interactive illustration from the Science Primer blog. The illustration explores the relationship between the temperature and volume of an ideal gas in a container that can adjust to allow pressure to remain constant. This is done by observing changes in the volume of a sealed syringe as temperature is varied. Prior to running, the illustration needs to be set up by selecting an initial volume between 10 and 30 mils using the starting volume slider. And then clicking the set starting volume button. When this is done, the main window shows a 60 mil syringe with the tip open and the plunger all the way in. On the bottom right is a graph that will show changes in volume of the syringe as the temperature is adjusted with, the sl with this slider to the bottom left. Clicking the fill run button causes the plunger to move to the starting volume, the cap to be closed, trapping gas molecules in the syringe barrel. Molecules can be seen moving around inside the syringe barrel, and as with the Boyle's Law illustration, there's a small flash every time a molecule collides with the wall of the syringe. Once running, the syringe volume, syringe temperature, and the temperature of the container the syringe is in are displayed. Filling the syringe also makes a point appear on the graph at 20 degrees Celsius and the starting volume, which is in this case is 25 mils. While running, the temperature of the chamber can be adjusted using the temperature slider. As the slider is moved, the temperature of the chamber adjusts immediately while the gas in the syringe responds more slowly. As the, the syringe equilibrates with the container temperature, the volume adjusts in accordance with Charles' law. The linear change in volume with changing temperature can be seen in the graph. Notice the temperature scale is in Celsius meaning the volume of the gas will be zero at negative 273 degrees Celsius, which is zero on the absolute, on the Kelvin temperature scale. The illustration can be rerun with different starting volumes. When this is done, the starting temperature resets to 20 degrees Celsius. As temperature is adjusted, the relationship between volume and temperature will always be linear, and the volume will always be zero at negative 273 degrees Celsius. This completes the demonstration. Thank you for watching, and enjoy the illustration.